In a tale about Ringo Starr, Paul McCartney mentions his native Liverpool and describes what it was like for Ringo to perform with the group for the first time. In other Paul McCartney news, One Hand Clapping, which was one of the most illegally downloaded live albums in history, will finally have a formal release on June 14th. While Band on the Run was topping the UK album charts for seven weeks running in August 1974, Paul McCartney and Wings were filming a video documentary and maybe a live studio record called One Hand Clapping at Abbey Road Studios. One Hand Clapping was never formally published, even though there was a lot of desire for brand new songs from the largest band in the world at the time. For fans of Paul McCartney, the publication of One Hand Clapping, which was shot and recorded over the course of four days under the direction of David Litchfield, was a historic occasion. Different aspects of One Hand Clapping have been appropriated over the years, with differing degrees of success. Some of the content can also be found on McCartney's official albums. On the other hand, One Hand Clapping, which was officially released on June 14th, and included several extra songs recorded off-camera and the first audio for the movie, along with original artwork created especially for the project and a TV sales brochure that had not yet been released, has been officially released. Wings, who recently returned from Nashville, where they recorded the iconic track Junior's Farm, are featured in one hand clapping. Paul, Linda, and Denny Lane were joined by guitarist Jimmy McCulloch and drummer Jeff Britton after the abrupt departure of Denny Sywell and Henry McCullough the year before on the eve of recording the iconic Wings Band on the run. Saxophonist Howie Casey, who had previously performed with Paul in Hamburg before joining the Wings touring band, and orchestrator Del Newman also joined the group in the studio. The album included live in-studio performances of Wings' mega-hit Live and Let Die, Band on the Run, Paul's beloved solo song, Maybe I Amazed, reworkings of Beatles classics, Let It Be, The Long and Winding Road, and Lady Madonna, Moody Blues hit Go Now, featuring Denny Lane singing, and Paul's solo piano version of Babyface, Harry Axed Benny Davis classic Tin Pan Alley. The album opened with an instrumental track that would later serve as One Hand Clapping's theme song. One Hand Clapping will be available in a number of formats, including a 2LP plus 7 package exclusively available online that includes a vinyl single of an unpublished solo performance that was recorded on the last day of sessions in Abbey Road Studios' backyard. The Beatles' classic Blackbird, Wings, Country Dreamer, B-Side, the unreleased song Blackpool, Eddie Cochran's 20 Flight Rock, which Paul performed with John Lennon for the first time when they met in 1957, Buddy Holly's Peggy Sue and I'll Love You Too, and a cover is among them. Paul McCartney and Wing's long legacy is celebrated with one hand clapping. It catches the exact instant that Wings identified and established their trademark sound. Paul influenced popular culture with the Beatles 10 years prior, and he did it again with Wings in the 1970s. These recordings provide listeners an inside look at the band's rehearsal and performance processes. The fact that Paul is still singing many of these songs in crowded stadiums across the globe 50 years later is further evidence of his incredible talent as a live performer.